Hello everyone. Myself Yakat Ali and my colleague Shravan Kumar from Clinosol IT enabled pharma services have written an article which names as importance of informed consent form and use of electronic informed consent form. Introduction In 1964 declaration of Helsinki in Finland has adopted 12 principles to guide physicians on ethical consideration related to biomedical research for the drug to get approval and enter into the market it has to undergo clinical trial clinical trial in terms describe all the research related activities which involves humans as subjects as no individual has a right to infringe the fundamental rights of person for the sake of fulfilling their purpose so as an important tool informed consent came into existence informed consent is a process in which a healthcare provider educates a patient about the risk benefits and alternatives of a given procedure or intervention informed consent is purely based on safety right and well-being of human subjects informed consent is documented dated and signed by the participant who is taking part in the clinical trial the informed consent should be signed prior to the start of the clinical trial and should get approved from the institutional review board The goal of informed consent is to provide complete detail of the research in convenient language which subject can easily understand and voluntarily make decisions regarding to or to not participate into the trial. The following are the required elements for documentation of the informed consent decision: the nature of the procedure, the risk and benefits and the procedure, reasonable alternatives, risk and benefits of alternatives, assessments of the patient's understanding of elements. classification of informed consent concerned an adult who is capable of giving his or her willingness to participate in clinical research study can provide consent and the subject should be 18 years of age and competent to make decisions to participate parental consent when children are included in the research parent guardian must sign the parental permission consent document assent It is child's affirmative agreement to participate to research in subjects is assent. It is child's affirmative agreement to participate in research if the subject is 7 to 17 years of age. Assent must be obtained. Verbal consent. Verbal consent contains all the elements of the trial. The participant is verbally read the elements and verbally agrees to participate short forms this is generally used when there is a language barrier and irb is approved consent is orally translated in the subject's native language challenges in ob- objectives of informed consent form language barrier it is very difficult to ele- evaluate their degree of understanding as there is no established method to measure the level of understanding many individuals sign the consent form without being fully aware of what they are signing which results in withdrawal of the subject at later stages of ongoing clinical studies false expectations some participants fear of being treated as an experimental model for the studies while others refuse to take part because of historical events of clinical trial fraud and misconduct known to them participants perception most of the participants are afraid of unwanted side effects of a new treatment in some cases disclosing information regarding the potential side effects may unnecessarily scare the patient religious influence the informed consent process is designed in such a way that every participant has a right to decide whether to accept or refuse a recommended medical treatment sometimes the decision for participating in a research project is influenced by the religious belief children where research involves children under the age of 18 consent permission has to be obtained from patients parents difficulty arises when parents give their consent while child refuses to assent vulnerable groups vulnerable groups include the person who is absolutely or relatively incapable of protecting their rights obtaining informed consent from vulnerable group can be difficult and special care needs to be taken to develop the appropriate strategies for communicating the implications of In involving in research barriers for participating in the clinical trials barriers lack of knowledge reason limited information about clinical trials barrier second 
fear of new treatment reason uncertainties about side effect concern over quality of life third barrage barrier the third barrier physiological issues depression fourth one financial burden reason concern that insurance will not cover in the treatment electronic concern researchers are showing keen interest on developing e concern technology in the subjects are provided with the website which is approved by the IRB and it's secure with the software which provides confidentiality to the subject data e concern provides the information of all the aspects related to the clinical trial in the form of picture movie video clip graphic and speaker provided with different languages in which the subject is comfortable the subject can take his own time to study the informed concern can take help advice or suggestion from friends and family if in case he or she is illiterate or elderly person the interactive presentation of the study procedures and commitments should make this informed process not only easier to understand but also more comprehensive use of electronic informed consent in march 2015 us food and drug administration released a draft guidance document with a recommendation for clinical investigators sponsors and institutional review boards on the use of electronic media and processes of to obtain informed consent for clinical investigation of medical products as per these guidelines electronic informed consent refers to using electronic system and process that can may employ multiple electronic media including text graphics audio video podcast and interactive websites and card readers etc to communicate inform <coughs> to communicate information related to the study and to obtain an document informed consent the aim, the aim of implementing e concern is to improve the understanding of study participants the guidance also recommends on procedures to ensure protection of rights safety and well-being of the human subjects this also helps in reducing the regular to burden in e icf that is electronic informed consent form process often uses interactive interface which helps in enhancing the subjects liability ability to understand retain and comprehend the study information an electronic informed consent form process which uses web applications or electronic devices is growing in popularity electronic products which are to be used in electronic consenting process have to be validated for compliance with united states of america's code of federal regulation 21 code of federal regulation part 11 requirements for electronic product records and signatures now difference between the uh, paper an uh, informed consent form and electronic informed consent form first one patient side interaction paper consent includes patient is given form to sign and side personnel should make sure that the patient understands the icf and answers all the questions whereas in electronic consent form patient engages in interactive sessions with videos dictionary definitions side personnel answers questions which are prompted by patient within software application patient retention information is documented second criteria patient comprehension in paper consent limited due to extent of documents and medical and legal terminology in e consent enhanced due to video assistance in native language third criteria multiple languages in paper consent paper translation is difficult and not up to par in e consent video assistance if provide high quality translation fourth criteria irb and ethical committee review paper consent multiple copies vary by irb ethical committee and by different countries is required whereas in inform uh, electronic inform consent standard process with web protocol for review next criteria is storage access and site monitoring paper consent cumbersome review of all documents and chats to be done whereas in electronic consent all forms of data can be easily accessible in a web portal the next criteria fraud protection 
in paper concerned complete reliance on documents whereas in e concerned complete audit trial showing when all parties signing documents second the next criteria site consistency paper consent includes process varies consistently from site to site whereas e consent standard process is followed at all trial site the last one version control and new signatures for protocol amendments in paper concern poorly done with papers with a significant and no number of patients and receiving other information whereas in e concern strict version control with notification to sites and patients when a form is updated and required a signature now benefits and challenges of consent for participants benefits more convenient less pressure and anxiety more information more engaged whereas challenges limited consent decision access to confidential documents benefits and challenges of e concerned that is electronic concern for researchers benefits higher enrollment number and more compliant participants convenient pay, convenient and paperless no travel expenses and increased capability whereas challenges increased all expenses verification issues compliance audio video recording of the informed consent process in india india's clinical trial system has come under intense scrutiny after a series of event involving alleged malpractices which resulted in widespread public protest concerns have been raised about the lack of ethical oversight and there have also been allegations that vulnerable patients are routinely re- recruited to clinical trials without proper informed consent central government in consultation with drugs technical advisory board central drug standard control organization released the gazette of indian notification dated 7th june 2013 proposed to make draft rule that audio video recording of the informed consent process of individual participant by an investigator once the ministry makes the necessary amendments in this regard the av that is audio video recording of informed consent will become mandatory in india benefits and challenges of audio video consenting process benefits simplification of the process good reliability transparency challenges indian culture and language barriers increased financial burden and risk of tampering records infrastructure and interpretation of behavior on camera thank you this was all about electronic informed consent and paper informed consent what makes a difference and what makes superior about the electronic informed consent when compared to paper consent thank you